I'm sure many of y'all have already heard of the uh, molecule DNA, and it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. I wrote it out ahead of time to, to spare you the pain of watching me spell this in real time. But it is, and I think you already have an idea of this, is the basic unit of heredity, or it, it, it allo- it's what codes all of our genetic information. And what I want to do in this video, because I think that's kind of common knowledge, that's popular knowledge, that, oh, you know, everything that, you know, what makes my hair black or my eyes blue or, or, or whatever, that's all somehow encoded in our DNA. But what I want to do in this video is give you an idea of how something like DNA, a molecule, can actually code for what we are. How, how does the information, one, get stored in this type of a molecule, and then how does that actually turn into the proteins that make up our enzymes and our organs and our brain cells and everything else of, that, that really make us us. So this is a, a computer uh, a graphics representation of DNA, and I'm sure many of you all have heard of the double helix double helix. And that's a reference to the structure that DNA takes. And you can see here, it's a double helix. It's a, as you can see here, you have two of these lines, and they're intertwined each other. You see there, that's one of them. And then you see another one in, intertwined like that. And then they're connected by, you can almost view as, it's like these bridges between the two, between the two helixes, and they twist around uh, each other, and I think you get the idea. And so the double helix just describes the, the structure, the shape that DNA takes, and it, ha- it leads to all sorts of interesting repercussions in terms of how heredity takes place and, 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 and how natural selection and variation might take place as well. And actually, in the future, I do want to actually read with you.